There. My name's not Amanda. My name, by the way, is Rachel. And welcome to a new beta demo. This one is Runaway Express Mystery. And I uh, actually didn't get to see who the developer is. Just went straight to the game, like. <laughs> so, and... I'm assuming that this is going to be the uh, collector's edition because there's a bonus here but since it's a demo we'll not be able to get see all that bonus credits yeah it's not available yet because it's a demo and the credits too but by the time you see this I will have developer up for you and other details about this game Mostly the, just the plot, by the way. But anyhow... Hmm, since there's nothing else to do, enough of me talking, I'll be hitting the play button and let's see what we have has in store. Um, hmm, wow, this is kind of reminding me of Nancy Drew. You know how you have a master sleuth and a junior sleuth option? This one has the private investigator on bronze, which is casual, advanced or silver, and the golden badge for an expert level. And I am neither an expert nor an advanced player, so let's go ahead and play casual. Looking back, I can see it wasn't a coincidence. It was a beautiful Sunday, and my son Jimmy loved trains so much. We had to see the exhibition. Old locomotives, light rail vehicles, coal wagons. The kids were so excited. You know how it is when you're young. I can see it now. The pride of the exhibition. The Runaway Express. Upon seeing it, I expected to be inspired by the exotic mysticism of far-off lands, but for some reason, I was afraid. But you know kids, they have to see and touch everything, and the old train was something they couldn't resist. Kids, where are you? Jimmy? Peggy? Mommy? Mommy? Kids, what are you doing? Come back! Oh my god, the train is moving! Stop the train! Stop the train! <sighs> Would you like some interactive help? Wow. Okay, trains! You see in the beginning, there was a year there on the exhibition. 1996. Wow. What was I doing in 1996? Oh yeah, school. Anyway, we'd like some interactive help. Should we say yes or should we say no? Um, you know, let's go with yes this time. Oh, wow. This kind of uh, like slightly steampunk feel. The gear thingy. Maybe it's because it's about a train. It does kind of remind me a little bit of another surface game. I think it was the Pantheon, which I do have, but I haven't played yet. I have played Soaring City, now off camera actually, so you won't see that yet, but you will see it soon. Anyway, let's go ahead and click the area indicated to examine in detail. If I put something down here, I might be able to catch the key. Can we lock our inventory? Yes. Now click on available objects to take them into your inventory. Ooh, screwdriver. Let me take that. Oh, it's useless. Newspaper. Hmm. Okay, the old newspaper trick. Push. Carefully. I'm kind of glad the mother was able to, you know, get on the train while it's pulling away. 
Frankie, let's go. Click the open door, of course, to go inside the train. Wow, this is kind of creepy. Is someone actually driving this train or not? It says we have a new task. Find the conductor. So this is our journal here. There's nothing in here yet. There's the menu and the hint. But we have a task list here. Which is to find the conductor. Uh oh, who's that? Oh my, what was that? Kinda like that they had that um click to skip option for the cutscenes. Some games don't have that. Finally, I made it into the mail car. All I remember for her losing consciousness is a scary guy in a mask. I think you took my kids. I need to hurry. Scary guy? I feel like it kinda looks funny. Who <laughs> wanna be scared by that? No, don't turn it off. Oh, the light bulb is broken. An old safe. I wonder what's inside. If an inventory item is marked by plus icon, it must be combined with another item. Oh, I see. It has the com combination thing. Actually, there's another game I played that I'm actually doing that already. You have to find other stuff and combine them to make useful stuff. I think... Where was that? Even standard edition games have that now. It's getting to be a little popular. Click the area indicated to search for hidden objects. Ooh, sparkly! And it's sparkling in different colors. Well, actually it's just purple, green, and white. Usually the sparkly scenes are supposed to indicate a hidden object scene. They're like sparkling in just one color. This one is really, really nice. What a shame! So many broken toys! Ever get the feeling that this train has been kidnapping kids? Click on the screwdriver to pick it up. I've always wanted a screwdriver. And it's an interactive scene. Use the screwdriver to screw off. Huh. This is new. You surely would expect to see it down here. It's the first time I've seen it sideways. Huh. I mean, not horizontally, but vertically across the screen. And it's actually a silhouette scene, not your standard. Okay, screwdriver. Where was that? Light bulb is missing. It's too dark in here. Oh, that one needs a bolt. Of course, of course. Where was that? Where did I need my... Fishing line. Where did I need to use the screw? I don't know what I was pointing at. Need to remove the lamp cover first. Oh. Okay. Now I got the screw. Or the scissors. Now what? Some parts are missing. Or when I need a scissor. Fishing line is missing. Now I need a line. Wait, why can't I see a line? It's 
too dark in here. Oh, okay. I needed a bulb first. Okay. Um. Plug it. There I go. What's kind of weird though? Door is locked. Small keys inside. How is it possible to put this key through the bottleneck? Door is locked. Okay. Nope, we can't use that there. Oh. Hammer. Hammer time. Key. What a key. So small. Wheel. Okay. Some parts are still not missing. They're still missing, I mean. Can I get that? Oh, I need a spool. Okay, where's my spool? Oh, there you are, hiding from me. Time to fish. Come on. Why can't I use the fishing line? Or what will I use it for anyway? There you go. I tried that earlier. Silly game. Chimney. Okay, now I need that part. Where are you? game can't figure out what that part is so I can't find it let's go use the hint again okay cut the box why didn't I think of that There you go. Hmm. Nice locomotive. Jimmy would love it. If an inventory is marked with a magnifying glass, it should be looked at more closely. Huh. Clever. These black plastic balls are used in place of coal. Huh. Missing a mechanism. 
Stop! I have to force the door open. You can't escape now. Okay. It's a little foreboding. There's something written on the window, but I can't read. Read. Huh. M missing some steel bearing ball bearings. Why am I say bearings? See what I mean? Safe locker. Well, I think I just saw it. Seven three one. Someone wrote the number seven three one in the mail car window. What can it mean? Seven three one. Get the bulb. 71 was the combination for the mail car safe. I got it open but was empty except for some old documents and a light bulb. Oh well, at least I can fix the lights. Okay. Need to remove the burnout bulb. Uh, got it. Turn off the electricity. Yeah. Have to force it. Saw. Why not? Now the lights are back on. Button doesn't work. Let's just take it off. Who cares? Turn on the hexagon so the same colored wires connect to one another. Okay. Uh, before I start this, I'm gonna let you know that in demos, I typically try to solve the puzzles, but uh, for time constraints, not because of the demo itself, um, but you know, just to make it a little more <laughs> easier for you guys to view, I'm going to skip them. If they take too long, really don't want to wind up with a like a two hour <laughs> uh, beta, even if it's split. And I'm sure you guys don't want that. There I go! To the front of a mail car. Oh no, there's no door to the next car. Yeah, there's no door to the next car, so jump over it. Select the folded paper to view the map. Folded paper. Where was that folded paper? Oh! This one. They never told me about this earlier or did I just forget the map allows you to fast travel between locations thank you as long as you visited them before hmm it also says by the way where we currently are marked by a pen and where we have stuff to do uh, we need to go back there but we still not done here Pile of letters. Letter knife. Open. Who cares anyway? 
check in here, should check the next one. Last one. Stamps. Oh no, there's money. It's money, not stamps. Metal bars blocked away. Oh. It's a crazy idea, but it's the only way out. Well, of course, you're in a runaway train. You have to get out. Well, you've already made up your mind to do it. You need to save the kids. Are we just gonna jump out like that? There's no way out. This door looks solid and doesn't have a lock. Anything else that we forgot here before we go? It says we still have something to do here. Oh, the back. Okay, did we forget something here? Choose a screwdriver and use it on the handrail. Okay, take it off. The rail looks strong and heavy. Okay, going to gonna use the handrail. This is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this. Window is locked from the inside, but of course you're doing it anyway. But you're forgiven because you're a mother. It's the front of the mail car. Money. Can I use money there? Can't use this item here. Oh, what's this? You'll die soon. Why, thank you. I get the feeling somebody doesn't like me. Anything else we need to do? Back of the mail car. Maybe here? Oh. Throw some money at it. Yeah, we're in the right spot. So... There you go! <laughs> I was thinking, well, we only have the handrail. Unless we miss something else. Hammer! Break open the glass so we can get in. Come on, one more. Ah! You, what have you done with my children? It's scary looking, but not so scary. Oh, so there's actually a conductor here. Click on the conductor to talk to him. Good afternoon, ma'am. Lovely day, isn't it? May I see your ticket? I'm not a passenger. I'm looking for my children. Have you seen them? No, I'm afraid I haven't. But if you want to stay on the train, you must buy a ticket. Did you hear what I said? My children are lost. Ma'am, I'm very sorry about your children. But rules are rules. If you don't have a ticket, you can buy one from me for 120 francs. Yo, lady, why argue? This is so stupid. If I don't buy a ticket, the conductor will throw me off the train. I'll need me money for that. Why? Oh well. Rules are rules. Thank you very much, ma'am. Here's your ticket. Hey, what's wrong with that man? You mean Lord Parkinson? 
Nothing is wrong with him. He is a very rich and powerful man. He is also one of our passengers. What do you mean, nothing's wrong with him? Just look at him! Anyway, who's the man in the creepy mask? Shh, not so loud. The mask man is the engineer. He controls this train and everyone on it. Your children are most likely with him. What does he want? Money? I'll pay him whatever he asks. You don't understand. It's not about money. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't tell you more. Don't even think about leaving. I insist you tell me what's going on here. If you want to save your children, you must look to Lord Parkinson for an answer. This is ridiculous. Who would that creepy lord? What's his name be the key to finding Jimmy and Peggy? He does kind of look creepy. Ask Lord Parkinson what happened to him. Fine. Hello, my name is Amanda Waters. I'm Lord Jonathan Parkinson. What do you want? I'm looking for my children. A boy and a girl? They're somewhere on this train. Well, I haven't seen anyone, children or otherwise. Excuse me for asking, but are you okay? Of course. I'm on a business trip from Paris to Istanbul. Although, to be honest, I can't remember what I was doing, or who I was supposed to meet. Well, you look as if you've hit your head. Perhaps you've lost your memory. Is there any way I can help you? I don't need any help. All I need is some peace and quiet. The conductor said this bizarre man is the key to finding my kids. I can't see how. Okay, you're saying this in front of him, lady? Are you serious? Case 1, Disappearance of Lord Parkinson Click on a magnifying glass to open the evidence board Huh, we have an evidence board Oh, this one, nah The evidence board is where you collect and analyze clues Oh, this is so cool It's kind of like enigmatic the clues you find start out unclassified, it's up to you to put them in the correct columns. Okay. Oh, can we put them out? I'm guessing we have to put his picture here somewhere. Lord Parkinson was a rich and successful businessman from London until he disappeared during a trip to Istanbul. He disappeared? Then who is this guy? Teapot full of cold tea could be useful later. Wait, are we still playing Amanda? To the end of the rest car. Mommy! Mommy! Jimmy! Oh, yeah. Peggy, are you alright? Okay, that's no, not no. good. Kids, can you hear me? Where are you? What's going on here? Damn, the door's locked. I'll have to find something that can cut the train. Okay, there's supposed to be a voice over there, isn't it? Unless they're just trying to, you know, cut down on the voice. That's cost money. Maybe they're just make up their minds you know you either use narration I mean voicing or don't kind of throws the knee off <sighs> gas stove will need a flame to light it to the Paris station are we going down now kids are still here cut the chain blocking the way to your children Explore Paris and find out if Lord Parkinson was here. What? We're just gonna leave the train? 
The chain is too strong. It's some kind of tool to break it. Click on the parchment to view all active tasks. Already dead. Thanks for that game. The Nightly Comet Shopping. Lord Parkinson and his wife visited Parry. The article says it's a picture of Lord Parkinson and his wife visiting Parry. But I don't see him here. I wonder who all these other people not are. Yeah, it's not him, huh? Hoping that the rain stays there so we can cut that chain to the parry alley. Or alley. If I want a newspaper, I need a coin. Drat. What's behind the garbage can? Wow, a real forensic kit. The police must have been here investigating or something. Huh. I'll take it with me. It'll be useful for my own investigation. I found the file of the passengers. It was taken, Perry, but Lord Parkinson isn't in it. Even though the caption says that he's traveling with his wife. I should ask him why he's not in the picture. Okay. Either this Amanda is already a detective or she's risking her life playing detective for her kids. Which happens 90% of the time or more like 98% of the time in hidden object games. And I see we have another sparkly scene here but we can go to the boulevard first. Now nah, let's do this. Special detective tools to search for hidden objects. Oh, this is new. Glove. It's too dark, can't see anything. So what will I look for? Mm. Magnifier? Um Use it for traces of blood. Flashlight! I can't take it. It hurt my hand. Oh. Okay, flashlight here. Pen. Then okay, need that one and that one. Oh, I need that headshot. Huh. Okay, glove. I gotcha. Now what? Oh, we need those. Okay. We need those eight balls. I can't see it. Huh. 
Huh. Is that it? No, it's not. I don't know where to spray this thing. Oh, there you go, on the wall. Okay. Now where do we need this powder? Okay. Not on the newspaper. On the poster. This is a cool puzzle actually. It's a new take on an interactive hidden object scene. Can I dust for fingerprints? Oh, there you go on the plate. I have found the torn hotel receipt. Okay, you still have that photo. I hear a kitty. Where's a kitty? I hear a meow. I hear a meow. Where's that kitty? Oh, there is the kitty. Car is locked. Well, gee. Receptionist. Hmm. Baggage master. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, mademoiselle. May I help you? Click a topic to ask about a specific subject. I'm looking for my business partner, Lord Parkinson. Could you tell me if he visited your hotel? My apologies, mademoiselle. We don't reveal information about our guests. Okay, then. An old coin. We'll just steal your coin. Hmm. This is a hotel garden? Okay. Hmm. 